Good morning, everybody, and thanks for watching. In my recent post, Taking Off, I spoke about conducting 3D geo surveys aerially using a platform such as this X-Pocket. Uh, and my excitement about the changing regulatory environment that's really going to to lower the thresholds to legally conduct missions using equipment such as this uh, here in the United States of America and, and some of the economic opportunities that's going to usher in. I wanted to spend a bit more time looking at one of the technologies in particular, photogrammetry, uh, that's really going to support this industry going forward. And, and, and what photogrammetry is, it is the science of, of using images captured with a normal camera uh, and stitching them together using software and then measuring the distances between points and really conducting a 3D model based on images taken with a normal camera. Now, as much as I would like to demonstrate this using my X-Copter, uh, that could at this point be construed as commercial use. And as I've mentioned, there's fairly onerous uh, regulations of, against conducting commercial operations uh, currently in place. Uh, again, these are changing, and, and it's going to be, it's really going to lower the legal threshold to conduct these missions in the coming months. Uh, so instead of, of flying this, what I'm going to do, and what I've done, is I've actually set up a, a little 3D environment, and, and for the sake of this example, I've constructed it all on my lab bench. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate some flyovers using my camera, and then I'm going to take these pictures together and stitch them together using some software that's easily available on the market. Now the software I'll be using today is 123D Catch by Autodesk, and, and the reason I've selected it for our example today is because it's free and it's out there. Uh, and this is actually something you can try at home with your own camera. It's a very lightweight install, uh, and it runs, it looks like, on just about any computer. Uh, so I encourage you to give it a try yourself. This is a lot of fun and, and, and really neat. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate, I'm going to take pictures of, of the objects I have here on my bench, uh, simulating an aerial flyby, as though I were piloting a drone over a much larger area. And then I'm going to take those pictures, stitch them together, and show you guys how you can use the software. All right, well, let's get started. Now that we have our pictures, let's go ahead and stitch them together in the software. Now that we've gone ahead and captured our photos, I'm going to go ahead and import them into this software, Autodesk 123D Catch. As I mentioned, this is available for free on the internet. Uh, anyone can get a copy of it, and, and I'll just show you briefly how it's used. To create a new capture, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the pictures uh, that I had taken uh, on my lab bench, and I'm going to go ahead and open them. Now that I've added the photos, I can create my project uh, by giving it a name, Tags and a description. What this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and upload our photos uh, to Autodesk, and they're going to actually render this on their server farm somewhere up in the cloud. They're not going to actually do this on this machine. Uh, so now this is actually uploading these photos, and I'll come back once it's downloaded, it, and, and we'll take a look at what we've captured. Our 3D scene has now been processed and downloaded to our local machine such that we can explore. Uh, and we can immediately see the objects that I had on the lab bench are now visible in a, and modeled in 3D within the computer. You'll also recognize the software has triangulated the position of each image I took. And, and I think this is very interesting because my camera doesn't have any kind of me me mechanism for determining its position. Uh, this position is completely established based on the images that I've taken. Uh, and I think that's pretty neat. Uh, now that it's in 3D, I can you know, explore it very easily in this software. And then the 123D Catch software also enables me to generate a mesh from it uh, that I can bring into other third-party applications if I so desire. Well, there you have it, y'all. That's how you, too, can conduct a 3D geo survey using nothing more than a camera and some software available easily on the internet. I hope you found this video to be informative, and feel free to contact me with any questions you may have. Have a great day.